subscribe to tech to tricks and click the bell icon to get notified on the latest tech videos it has been a quite long time since i turned on my pc and today it's a holiday and once i turned it on i found this error no internet access so in this video let us learn how we can solve that what's up guys i'm Raj back again with another episode hope that you guys are familiar with my old little tutorials so that being said let's get started So guys first thing you're gonna do is simply click on that button and go to the properties of the current network you're running on and once you're here you can see the complete SSID protocols and everything else so what you're gonna do is simply go to the networks and settings and right there you can see there is no internet access so click on the troubleshoot to find out what's the problem in your Wi-Fi current network connection so once you are done with that you will find some error so I found that Wi-Fi don't have a valid IP configuration so getting started first go to that start button right there and right click on that and you'll find bunch of options so click on that windows partial with administrator permissions so if you're using older version of windows you'll find windows command prompt with administrator permissions so you can also select either of them so click on that and click on s so by the way if you are not interested in this partial and want windows command prompt then here is a card for that to here is a card for that to replace your partial with the windows command prompt so make sure to check out that if you're interested. Continue with this video. In this partial, we need to enter up some command lines so that we can reset up the IP address. The first command is net winsock reset. So click on enter and that should reset your winsock catalog. And the next thing is we are gonna reset the IP address. So next, INT IP reset. So there you go, the everything. So there you go, the reset is now complete. So the next thing you're gonna do is restart your computer. And once you're done that, it should max. So once you're done that, it should probably work. For me, it worked. So the next thing, if this don't solve your problem, is that you can simply change your SSID as well as password of the current Wi-Fi network. So how you can do that is logging in into your home network of the router and changing up the SSID and the password. So that's it for this video guys. If you found this video helpful then please drop a like and if you have any queries then you can comment down in the comment section below. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed to our channel then please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and you can click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video you can explore to the tech to tricks channel to watch more and more tech videos like this